Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. It's Gene aka LS Turbo Intake. And in this video, the tulips are in full bloom. Actually, some of them are way past the bloom, but some of the mid bloomers and late bloomers are now in full bloom. But as you can see, the colors are very vibrant. Pinks, reds, yellows with orange, purples, reds, and yellows. They look amazing. I'm very, uh, very excited the way they came into bloom here. Each year they will get bigger, taller, and sturdier. This is their first year's bloom, so this is kind of what I expected. And for those who didn't watch my first video, these are the tulip bulbs I ordered from Holland Bulb Farm. I ordered thousands. Unfortunately, the containers didn't do too well, and I'm gonna have to do some research as to why. I'll post some videos. As you can see here, that container off to the right, right there, just leaves but no flowers. And I think it has to do with something with, because it was potting soil, maybe that had something to do with it. It would be one thing if it was just one container that didn't grow, but the fact that all my containers just grew leaves and didn't have flowers um, there's got to be a reason for that and all my containers do have potting soil mix so I'm wondering if that has anything to do with it if there is a reason why and you guys know please put it down in the comments below like I said this is growing tulips in containers is new for me that's something I wanted to try this year I really thought I was going to be successful on that part just because it's early spring that the leaves did start to pop through and I never thought anything other than they were going to pop up just like all the other tulips but the fact that I didn't get any tulips, uh, actually I want, I don't want to say I didn't get any, I got maybe one in each one if I got lucky which kind of makes me wonder why that is. As you can see guys, they're doing wonderful. I love all the colors especially these yellow ones um, when the sun is out really bright these things are just glowing for those interested in or deciding whether they want to grow tulips or not i would highly recommend growing tulips they do only bloom for about two and a half weeks i've noticed and after that just like with any other spring bloomers that's that's about all you're gonna get from them it's just something i'm looking forward to every spring after those long winters you just want to see some kind of color and the fact that these tulips are so colorful and it's the first thing that i see come springtime just kind of kick starts off the year you can see how they're wide open just soaking in that sun something i didn't know about tulips is like early mornings or when it gets towards the evenings the flowers do close and then right about noon time or when the sun comes out the flowers uh, will open and as soon as it senses I guess the temperature starts dropping and flowers start to close which I think is really cool
Here's the main show. Um, lots of color here. Very happy with the way they turned out here. You can see all the new lilies down there in the front. Those will be after the tulips are spent. Then the lilies will be the next ones to bloom. But look at the colors on these guys. And the colors are just amazing. Especially when the sun is out. They really do look like they're glowing. I mean, as you can see here, it's got that amber look. Kind of that glow feel to it when you come up close. I decided to go with all these different colors just because we do drive around these different neighborhoods and I love seeing how some people would just stick with one color which really looks nice from like if you're looking from the street side and it's just like all purples or all whites or maybe a two-tone variation like purples and whites I've seen or just red and whites and it looks great but for me I think when it's just one or two colors and if you had them all over, they all kind of look the same after a while, if that makes sense. But I just think it looks different when you have all these different colors because the color, all the variations from whatever angle you look at, it's always something different to look at. And what I'll end up doing is after these tulips are spent, usually wait for the green leaves to turn yellow. You want all the energy to be sent back to the bulb. That way next year, you'll have these amazing blooms again. Before you just cut them all the way back to the ground, be sure to leave them out until the leaves do turn yellow or unfortunately after the flowers bloom, there's really not much to look at when you have all these green plants just sticking out of the ground, especially it gets really bad when they start to turn yellow. But once they do turn yellow, that just means it's time that you can actually cut them down to the bottom and I usually just kind of cover it with mulch and you never know that the uh, there was a tulip there. But as far as the bulbs not doing well, I don't want to say the bulbs didn't do well. As far as the containers go, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take those, remove them from the containers and replant them in areas around the house that I need to fill in because there are areas where I did do those transplants and I moved some shrubs there and now I have these big blank spots that now I can put tulips in so if I empty those containers I should have at least one two three four five six maybe seven containers of bulbs and I know I have at least 50 plus in each one hopefully all the bulbs are still well I'll know here once I start digging into it making sure there's no mold or or anything like that or any dry rot but because they did leaf out and I didn't get any blooms, they should be fine. So I'm hoping they just weren't happy in the soil type they were in. Like I said, they, that was potting mix. So I know the potting mix is great for annuals. Maybe not so much for perennials. You know, like I said, I did see Laura from Garden Answer plant tulip bulbs in containers, but... Uh, maybe I need to go back and watch those videos and see what kind of soil she had in those pots. Or maybe I can do something different at the end of the year. Maybe uh, remove all that potting soil and replace it with normal soil and maybe some compost versus just all potting soil mix. Maybe you guys that had uh, luck growing tulips in containers, you guys can kind of give me some advice on that. I would really appreciate that.
You see that container right there? I had one tulip growing out of that, so I mean, maybe that was a mix of some other kind of soil I had in there, I don't know. Every year, right after the tulips bloom, I, I will, what I normally do in those containers, I usually take the top five inches, maybe six inches of that potting soil and I'll just kind of throw it on the ground and replace it with new potting soil when I do plant my annuals in those containers. So maybe it has to do something with the soil type. But uh, please drop a comment below and let me know if that is the case. fam that'll do it for this video um, stay tuned for my next video it'll be on my hydrangeas I'm gonna go over the different varieties I have what they look like so far as they are all starting to leaf out now bloom time for these they won't be here just yet since those are summer bloomers but I just wanted to give you guys an update on how my hydrangeas are doing and what they look like so stay tuned for that video Again, thank you for watching. Please hit those post notifications. That way when I drop the next video, you guys will be notified. Leave a like, comment, and please subscribe. All right, guys. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you.